Okay guys, so this is probably the most difficult video I've ever had to make. Um, I considered not even making it. But most of you who watch right now are aware of Virginia. And uh, there's just no easier way to say it than that she will not be on this journey with me. Um, I live in the RV right now, and I've been running back to my house to finish moving out and getting things done. And I'm leaving Ohio as of October 4th. Um, after that is when morning shows and uh, daily vlogs are going to begin. And I've already been filming some here, so I'm going to be ahead a little bit. You know, like you guys will be seeing things that already happened. For one thing, that lets me um, be ahead of the game, do some traveling, and get out there and film other things, and keep up with videos coming for you. Believe me, I've tried to make this video without doing this. Okay, I'm going to um, cut back for a minute to the video that I made back at the beginning of July, where I was heading out for what was supposed to be the first camping trip in the RV. I was going to Cook Forest in Pennsylvania, and um, I received a text from Virginia's daughter. And I showed that video, but I cut it off at um, a part where I said I would talk about this when it was more appropriate. And, I mean, there's, there's really no other time to do it. You know, it has to be done. And so I'm just doing it now. But I needed to, um, I needed to acknowledge this, you know, to everyone who asks me about Virginia. And I just needed to let you know that she's not going with me. And that's, that's the only way that I'm going to put it right now. So, so go ahead and watch that. Okay, guys, so I don't know if I'll post this or not. I might because, uh... This is just, this is my life. And I live my life on the internet. So, I mean, this is what it is. It's funny to go from such a wonderful moment to such a horrible moment. Um, you know, Virginia never wanted to be part of, um, my videos, <laughs> and <laughs> that was understandable, you know, she's just not the kind of person that, that, uh, wanted to be out in the public like that, she never really understood it, and I've totally respected that with her. You know, so I've kept all this stuff to myself um, while I'm going through it. She is not in good health, and she has not been for quite some time now. And as I am uh, driving down the highway here, I mean, you guys are with me every minute of this way here. I had just filmed coming around the corner there. And, and my next shot was <laughs> going to be the GPS showing me the, the highway coming up here. Pulling onto the highway and saying, all right, guys, here we go. And uh, I got a message from her daughter. that she's having uh, 
periods of apnea and but basically um, without getting too deep into it she's possibly gonna pass away here within the next couple of days so what it is guys so I pulled over <laughs> it's either laugh or cry you know I pulled over here <laughs> right off the highway into a Menards parking lot and uh, and I kept going there's somebody behind me and this long stretch of road here so I kept going I pulled over into this Nichols bakery thrift store here and I, and I parked right here uh, just to kind of gather myself and uh, and to make a decision about what to do you know it's such an array of emotions guys um, and with this COVID-19 crap going on the kind of visitation that I get with her and that she gets with me is me standing outside the building leaning on the window looking in trying to see her through the glare in the glass and when she's with it when she she's awake her trying to see me through the glare of the glass and I have to call her on the phone and she can't hold the phone so even if the nurse comes in and props the phone up on her ear, I can talk to her a little bit. She can try to talk to me, but mostly all she does is kind of groan and, uh, you know, it's not good, guys. Um, at a time like this, she needs me beside her. She needs my touch, my reassurance my love, my caring, my bedside manner, and, and not being able to provide that for her, it kills me. <sighs> you know, I don't mind missing my trip, I honestly don't. It's not about that at all. She means more to me than going on a camping trip. My nose. Glad I stocked up good because I got some serious tissues up in this piece. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, yeah, that's what it is right now. I called the campground and I said, hey, uh, you know, I've got four days in there as reservations. Can I just kind of show up at any time over these four days? You know, I've never done this before, so I don't know how it works. And um, I told them I have a family member who's passing away. And they said, yeah, um, anytime, you know, as soon as you find out what's going on, call us and let us know. And, like, they can't reimburse me for the days that I'm missing. But the days that are left, they will reimburse me for if I don't go out there. So, um, you know, that that's what it is right now. So it's, it is, it's funny that this, this started out as such a, a wonderful thing today, you know, and, and then it just automatically hits the brakes and turns into something else. And guys, this is, that's not like automatic for me, you know, it's not like this came out of the blue, you know, this is something that I've been dealing with personally for a long time now. And, uh... It's something that I've kept to myself, like I said. <sighs> she didn't want to be part of this stuff, so, I, so I've made it a point not to not to say anything about it. You know, I'm not trying to, like, profit off of it here or anything. You know, this is just, this is my life. And you guys are in my life. So, but, you know, it's like as I'm going out and making my videos and, and, uh, and, shopping and, and buying DVDs and getting excited about things. It's not fake. None of that's fake. I never fake anything. 
but I definitely have to muscle through and put a smile on my face, you know, and find that happy side and know that there is still happiness in the world despite anything else that's going on. So, that uh, I think I'm just going to leave it at that right now. I think I'm just going to call it a day. I guess take all my food back home for now. Put it on ice. Freeze it. And, um, you know, pretty soon in the future we will have our maiden voyage. But it's, it's just not going to be right now. I need to be here. I need to be here for her right now. Whether she knows I am or not. So, I'm still at the RV, guys. I, uh... I sat over there for probably about an hour over at that uh, thrift store place and then I finally came back here over to you know where I've been leaving the RV and working on it and um, I just been kind of hanging out here for a while just taking some quiet time because this is the one place I can come to really escape and I was thinking, you know, a while back I made a video for uh, Virginia. Just a bunch of pictures of us together um, with some music. And and I thought that I would just share that with you guys because it was just something that was really nice. And, um, you know, even though she was more of a private person when it came to uh, me being on the Internet, um, I think this would be a nice tribute for her. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and show you that now. Okay. So quit asking me. A tree. You knew this, didn't you? Did you come down here and do that? Nathan! Are you crazy? That is beautiful, honey. It's just beautiful. 